So I got the bed all on. The sides are glued. That can just sit. Um, that's done. I got to do a little body work on there and make the fenders. So I'm moving on to the cab floor. I got this little hole. It's where uh, one of these plugs, the problem, these rubber plugs right there, and it rusted out around the plug. So I got that hole, which I got to cut this out. I'm going to cut all this rust out and weld that. I'm going to sandblast it first, so it's going to get to be a mess in here. But I'm going to sandblast the whole floor, um, cut that out, and then back here, see I've got a patch in. You can kind of see it right here is a patch. It goes up like this and over to about here, maybe. Um, there was a hole right here. The same thing, rusted around that plug. The hole was about maybe just a little bit bigger than the plug. You can see I still got, I just laid a piece of sheet metal in there. I did that probably about, man, 10 years ago, maybe. Um, it was a bang-up job. I was driving the car every day, or my wife was driving the car every day. But I did have a hole back there. And kind of one day on my day off, I just pulled the carpet up, molded a piece of sheet metal and tacked it in and then uh, put undercoating over it. So it, that needs to come back out. Now you got this sound deadening, uh, this stuff here. See it right there on the floor. Um, it's a pain in the butt, kind of. You, you can get under it. If it's, if it's been rusted underneath, you can catch it and get under it. But it's a little bit easier if you just go to Harbor Freight and get a cheap, cheap heat gun, nine bucks. Heat that up a little bit. If you put a little bit of heat on it, you can usually, it'll peel right up. But the thing is, it gets soft and kind of gummy when it's hot. But as soon as it cools down, it'll it'll dry back up. It'll get hard again. See, like this, see that it already got hard. <sighs> so it's a little bit of a job, but well worth it. I've repaired a few of these beetles <clears throat> in a golf. <clears throat> excuse me, that rusted out like this. And, and here's what will happen. See this plug? See how it's cracked? And it'll, it'll lose seal on the floor. And then, see, it gets moisture and starts to rust. This one ain't too bad. It's, the hole's still there. But now these, sometimes these will get water under them. So when you bring that up, it may be all rusted out. Or it may be fine. This one don't look bad at all. Nah, see? It's rusted out right there. See that? That's how the other side started. So I'll cut this side out too. So I guess we do got a little bit of damage here. That one anyway. Let's check this one. This one's still in there really good. So that one should be fine. That one's fine. Get it all sandblasted and treated. Yeah, that one's fine. And a lot of times, this one right here will do it. But now this one doesn't go to the... I believe it's this. Yeah, yeah, this one goes to the outside. Uh, yeah, that one still looks pretty good. Yeah, that one still looks good. A little bit of rust, but yeah, the hole's still good. This one here stays to an inside channel. It doesn't go outside. See that? The fuel lines run through there. When you look under the floor and you see the fuel lines come up underneath and they disappear, they go right there. The same thing with these two. These two do not go outside. This side's still pretty good. They fill these channels with beeswax. So that's what that yellow gunk is whenever you open it see it all over that right there as a rust preventative which it's really good i need to get some more because uh, i need to fill the back channels anywhere i did welding it'll catch on fire it's flammable so yeah evidently i do got a hole here which that ain't nothing I'll go ahead and get this side stripped and see what it looks like 
So here's what I got to work with on the floor. The passenger side looks great. I got all the sound deadening rubber off. Um, there's not really much sandblasting, if any, over here. These This rubber's messed up. I have to get a new one. I'll probably replace all those. This hole's fine. I just pulled the plug out when I peeled the uh, sound deadening off. So I got all the sound deadening out. This hole's fine. It's solid, but it is rusted out, a little surface rust. So that's going to get all sandblasted. And I think I'm going to go ahead and cut a plug and weld a plug into that. This side here is rusted out a little more, so I got to cut this out, sandblast it, cut this out, and weld that one up. So oh, a little bit of sandblasting here where the seat mount is. I got to pull this up, sandblast this plate, and replace these bolts. The driver's side, not bad at all. I've seen worse. I've seen much worse. Um, some rust up there. It's got to be sandblasted. That hole's fine. The two front holes are fine. This hole's rusted out, so I gotta cut. I gotta cut this out, sandblast it, cut that. I'm gonna weld a plate in there. And then back here, evidently, see you got those two plugs. Evidently, this was uh had two holes. They were both rusted out, and I replaced them. That was a bang-up job. This was a daily driver, and that was like something I did on my lunch. Pulled the carpet up and just welded two pieces of sheet metal in there. They're not even welded in, they're just laid on top and tacked. So rather than cut that apart and try to deal with the two holes, I just went ahead and cut all the bad. You see underneath. See, it just continued to rust underneath. But it was a daily driver. I mean, that lasted like 10 years. So I got to make a make a, a, a panel in here. No big deal. That's easy. That's all pretty easy. Just keep in mind, um, if you're doing this, the brake lines are right here. So you got to pull the brake lines down off the floor and drop them before you go cutting the floor. Um, I'm going to replace all my brake lines, but not right now. And my brakes work fine right now for moving this thing around. So I didn't want to cut those brake lines off and have fluid everywhere and pedal to the floor the next time I go to move it. So yeah, some sandblast in there. Make that panel. No big deal. Sandblast in here. A little more sandblasting on this side. No real holes other than that. I mean, up front looks fine. And that's easy. So, I can't do body work in the winter, but I can grind out and lay acid and sandblast and weld. So that's probably what I'll do. I'll probably treat all this with deoxidizer real good. And, um, or wire brush it out with a wire wheel real good. Treat it with the oxidizer real good. And then whatever's left here, I'll cut off. And then whatever's left there after the deoxidizer, I'll trim off. And then uh, I got to pull those channels out and I'll, I'll sandblast all that and get it welded back together. So I got to cover that hole so critters don't climb in. Not as bad as I thought at all. I didn't realize this one was rusted out. Sometimes you don't know till you get to it. It had the asphalt paper, the sound deadening paper over it, so you don't know till you pull it up. But I'm going to do the same underneath. Uh, pull those brake lines off. Um, and Oh, on this side with the brake lines. I mentioned the brake lines. If you cut on that floor, the brake lines are there. And on this side, the fuel lines. You got the fuel lines coming down under this channel. Right there is your fuel lines and your return lines. And they run down to about right here, and then they expose outside. But the fuel lines do kind of run in through here. So, yeah, they're right, right in this channel are fuel lines. So if you go cutting on this side, and those are nylon too, so be careful putting heat on this side. I used that heat gun, wasn't too bad. So now looking underneath, um, there, I got this hole right here, and I think that's it. That, that, that I cut that out, so I'll replace that floor pan there. Um, basically, I'm going to do the same thing underneath that I'm doing up top or to the bed. This is all going to get wiped out and blasted and cleaned up. I'm going to pull all this 
whatever comes off and I'm going to re-rubberize the bottom of this. But see, I had to pull the brake lines down. They, they fit up in that pocket there. You don't want to go cutting the floor and cut through the brake line. It looks like I put a lot of undercoating on that patch when I did it. But it held up.